Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. How fast is the hard drive in your system? And is speed everything? I say, yes it is! The faster, the better. We had a member of uh, the community at large who goes by the handle The Magician when he's in our chat room at live.perillo.com. He emailed this to me outside the chat room. It says, I'm going to buy a 500 gigabyte external hard drive, but I was wondering why are they so cheap compared to smaller hard drives? Are they worth buying? Will they break within the first month? Are they slow? Or what's the case with the price, in your opinion? I live in Europe, and at the moment, there's quite a few brands such as Mac Store, Seagate, and Buffalo selling 500 gigabyte external hard drives for about 99 euro which is 135 dollars 135 us dollars oh god is the us dollar that weak <clears throat> he continues but for example a 200 gigabyte external hard drive is still a lot more expensive so i was just wondering why are they so much cheaper well, in some cases, you may not be comparing apples to apples. Uh, just because the capacity of a hard drive equals the capacity of another does not necessarily mean that it has the same speed. Uh, you know, write speed, read speeds. There are a lot of metrics and benchmarks applied to hard drives. The most basic of which is RPMs, revolutions per minute. Uh, that's how fast the hard drive spins. In most laptops, for instance, you'll either get a 4200 or is it a 5400 or a 7200 hard drive. Well, yeah, in some cases, 7200 hard drive and this happens to be in this MacBook Pro the 17 inch with a high res screen uh, happens to have a 7200 RPM hard drive in it uh, just like straight out of the box I didn't have to upgrade anything and that was wonderful because that means it's a faster system uh, now the reason why uh, it's uh, not for everybody at least in the laptop capacity why a lot of laptops come with uh, lower RPM hard drives even though they have higher capacities is that it takes energy uh, the more revolutions uh, per minute the, the higher the the RPM, the more energy it takes, and of course, energy sucks battery. So you, you, that's the reason why a lot of laptops tend to have lower performing hard drives compared to desktops. Um, so don't compare a 200 gigabyte drive with a 200 gigabyte drive. Make sure you're comparing speeds. Uh, make sure you're comparing uh, connectivity options. Um, you know, those external hard drives may just be USB 2.0. Uh, they may be USB 2.0 and FireWire. They may be eSATA. Uh, they, they may have a variety of options. They may be limited in some capacity. Uh, they may be limited in speed. Um, you know, and, and it's usually the case. Uh, a higher capacity drive is... Mm, the benchmarks are going to ultimately tell you one way or another whether or not it's going to be a good drive, if it's going to be a performing drive, if you get what you pay for. It's not just down to how many pennies per megabyte or how many, oh God, listen, megabyte. Has anybody dealt with megabytes <laughs> capacity-wise in like years? I mean, gigabytes. Uh, you know, it does. It's not necessarily just that. I mean, there's a lot of things you have to take into consideration when it comes to hard drives. My recommendation, my suggestion for you, is list out those brands and their hard drives, look at the specs across the board, and do direct comparisons. In many cases, there are plus, uh, you know, you do a search online for reviews of these hard drives, and they will run benchmarks, comparisons with drives that may be faster, drives that may be slower, or drives that are in the same league to tell you, yeah, this is a, this is a good drive, or, well, it's a good drive, but it's, it's, probably a little bit more than you'd want to spend and you're not really seeing the the performance uh, in terms of the money that you spend so make sure you do your research it's not just about the numbers outright uh, compare the right things uh, and, and and do your do your work and do your research and look online for these benchmarks not just from one site if you have a favorite website great uh, I would strongly recommend for anybody and I've mentioned this before don't just look at one review don't just look at one roundup look at as many as humanly possible do your research get independent studies get independent research uh, then then you spread out from there if it's been around uh, for, for a little while go out to support forums have people been asking questions about one drive over another uh, the, the infamous Death Star uh, an old IBM <clears throat> Desk Star uh, that was renamed Death Star because it just kept dying. They just were bad drives, and IBM never shook that. Uh, of course, now I believe their hard drives were taken over by Hitachi, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 
So you do your research. It's not just about brand. It's not just about capacity. It's not just about speed. It's about everything combined. And in some cases, the price may be different between external and internal drives. I mean, for a variety of reasons, size may be a uh, you know of a a factor. Um, you know, capacity, speed. I mean, it's all all these things kind of come into play. Uh, I don't really have a, a brand manufacturer that I love or follow any one over the other. I have no reason to at this point in time. Uh, I mean, for the most part, to me, a hard drive is a hard drive is a hard drive. Uh, there are certain ones that perform better than others, but again, sometimes that is a case-by-case -case basis, a model-by-model -model basis. Uh, go with what the community tells you, and uh, at this point, Datalore tells you uh, he loves Maxdoor. And apparently other people do as well. So anyway, uh, if you have any hard drive benchmark recommendations or in terms of how to go about selecting a good hard drive, you know what you do, what, you, what research you apply when you go and search for hard drives, um, taking any kind of recommendation, I could certainly use more advice uh, when I need to go out and get my next hard drive. I've still got an external drive sitting in my closet, which I'm not really doing anything with. I know I should. I should use it as an external backup, but it's just kind of a pain. I don't know, maybe when Leopard's released, I'll plug it into uh, uh, the network and then be able to back up using Time Machine over the network. It's a fun little feature they put in Leopard. Anyway, uh, looking for any kind of hardware advice you might have. And of course, you're welcome to swing by the chat room, take part in um, these various things that we do. Someone just mentioned giveaway. We do that every week. That'll be Friday. We're doing the giveaway this week. And uh, by the way, I think we're working on when I get 10,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube, we're going to give away Ponzi's uh, Nintendo DS. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. She doesn't know that yet. <clears throat> anyway, uh, you're welcome to swing by the chat room uh, anytime, day or night. Uh, it's a simple URL. Uh, if you haven't got it memorized or tattooed across your hand right now, just scratch it in right now. Live.perillo.com. Will you later?